well. Brazil, it really helped us out, you know, as far as getting the um, fundamentals of what Coach won the offense. So this is probably going to be more one of the more fluent practices that we had in the past years. Um, but the guys, you know, looking good. It's a gathering, you know. I'm going to be surprised what y'all see in practice, not the you know, previous first practices. Guys, just talk about how you feel just in terms of your health. I mean, it, Stan makes it seem like you're definitely feeling better and, and stronger than you had at any point last season. Yeah, I feel as good as I was when I first first stepped here on campus, uh -huh. you know, my freshman year in the summertime, so I feel as healthy as ever, as ever. Talk about the front court and just the expectations you guys have since, since you guys are, are kind of the part of the team that has the most experience and, and has shown the most coming into the year. I mean, like you said, we're the most experienced and we know how big these players are going to be. We jail to play with each other, but our backcourt is not, it's not bad. We have some experience there too, and we've really grown over the summer. You're going to see, see the results of that this year. Just tell me why you think you guys are capable of building on the successful season last year, uh, even though you guys lost a couple key pieces. I mean, we did. We lost a lot last year. You know, Dominic getting drafted, Chris Howard, Mike Mercer, you know, veterans in the backcourt, um, Alex Rivas, you know, coming off, coming off the bench. You know, a hard, hard working post player, but um, this this year is more like a mentality standpoint. You know, getting to a winning atmosphere, and that that alone gonna help us out. And just coming in, knowing that we're capable of winning. As the year passed, we didn't know we came in, not know we were gonna win that season, and not. You know, it's just a whole different feeling. Do you, do you think teams might still take you lightly because they'll say, oh, Dominic Jones is gone, Chris Howard's gone. You know, they might still take you guys to be three underdogs in this league. They may, but we come to compete every night, you know, but that's every Big East game. Every, every night's going to be a dog fight in Big East game. Yeah, I asked your coach uh, this question, too, about who he thought was the player who made the biggest strides from last year to this year. You, you've been working with this group uh, all during the offseason. You know, you had the time overseas. Who do you think is ready to step their game up uh, this year for this team? It's a lot of guys. Go ahead and run through the list of uh, you know who, who you think is going to. I'd rather let y'all y'all go and see that. <laughs> you want you want to keep it a surprise? Yeah, keep it a surprise for right now. Right. Okay, Gus. Thanks very much.